If you're thinking that you have to have a large amount of followers or subscribers, or you need a large email list, or you need a lot of money to get started, that is a big myth and it's entirely untrue. So let's dive into it. So to make it very plain and simple, while you're actually creating the ebook, the process of selling it starts right then. While you're creating your ebook, while you're putting all the pieces together for your ebook, you're gonna start building your audience and building your email list. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna be thinking, oh my God, I know he was gonna say that. This is gonna be a lot of work. This is gonna be too hard. I thought it was gonna be something simple that I could do right now and start making money as soon as tomorrow. Yes, you could probably make some money as soon as tomorrow if you're that good, but it is highly unlikely that's gonna happen. But to be honest with you guys, thinking back when I was actually doing this and I still do this to this day, it's not actually as hard or as long as you might think it is. Keep in mind, I started doing this when I didn't have a lot of subscribers. I didn't have the knowledge that I have right now. And I didn't have any fan base or raging customers lining up to buy stuff from me. However, my subscribers and my audience started to grow more quickly because I started using these tools I'm about to teach you right now. And one of the things I was doing i wasn't just trying to build an audience i was trying to build an audience that cares and actually cares about what i'm selling and would be most interested in buying and this is going to require you to start creating content and putting it out on social media now there's a lot of social media platforms out there in the beginning i started out with tiktok that was my platform of choice because at that time i wasn't real good at creating long form content nor did i really have the time but nowadays you can choose any platform that you want that makes sense with you and your family and your lifestyle but I want you to understand this. It doesn't matter which one you choose. All of them are fine. Pick one platform and stick to that and become skilled at creating and putting out content on that platform and only that platform. Now, once you choose that platform, then you're going to start putting out content centered around the experience and knowledge of you have with that topic, that thing that you're most knowledgeable about. Whatever your topic is, you're just simply going to start creating content around your experience and your journey of it. Things I learned when I first started creating these meals, the best and worst meals I found that my family hated the most. Whatever it is, you're gonna create content around that experience and your journey. Now, just to give you guys some background, my one of my first digital products or one of my first eBooks was helping people do what I had already done, which was to leave their nine to five job with digital products. So when I first started getting on social media, I was an introvert. I was also scared like you, like you guys, but I still conquered that fear and I put out content on social media, but I wanted to give you some ideas and examples of putting out content based off your journey and your experience. So here you go. Listen, are you tired of renting? This was one of my first videos. Want to make six figures with your small business. If I was starting over as a small business owner, get your digital products off Etsy. This is me learning that Etsy was basically ripping me off. So I, I started to uh, get hip to that and figured out, yo, I got to just put my digital products on my own platforms. But this is just me sharing my journey. It was just me sitting at the sofa, just talking about nothing big, nothing fancy, you guys. How to sell digital products. Learn how you can quit your nine to five job. Here's my secret to selling eBooks. Need help setting up your funnel. This is when I was getting my products off of platforms like Etsy and starting to sell them on my own platform and get my own domain. Learn how you can quit your nine to five to the future millionaires. All this stuff was just all based off my journey. Once I got even more comfortable on social media, I started going live on TikTok. Now, mind you, as I'm putting out this content in real time, while I'm creating my ebook, people are engaging with me on my social media platform. They're leaving comments. They're asking me questions. They're actually even giving me ideas to add more stuff into the ebook that I didn't even think about, or there were some repetitive questions that I added and answered into the ebook. But one of the most important questions that I was being asked while I'm building my social media and while I'm connecting with my audience and while I'm creating the actual ebook was exactly how can I achieve what you achieve? And when they would ask me that, that's when I would say, sure, you can learn exactly how I did this step by step, get my ebook. 
or if it wasn't created, I would say, stay tuned, join my group, join my community. I'm launching an ebook and you'll be able to have direct access to it when I launch it inside my community. But just to make sure you guys understand, all this came from me just creating content on social media based off my experiences, based off what I learned, telling my journey on social media. Now, the next step after that or while you're doing that is to create the actual ebook. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But once you've created the ebook, you want to actually have a link for those people to go purchase it on all of your content. So in the beginning, I was using a platform like TikTok. Now, the downside of TikTok is you can't put a link inside of your bio until you have a thousand followers. But I was still getting people in my community or I would refer them to another platform like Instagram to where they could go and download it. A second thing you can do if you're using a platform like TikTok, you can actually put the link in your videos as a text overlay. The easiest and best way for me, you guys, is YouTube. So if you're gonna use YouTube, YouTube automatically gives you a YouTube description and you can put your links there in any of your videos, even if you're just starting out and you have zero subscribers but my point is you want to put your link for those viewers and your audience to buy and all of your content 